in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Why is prayer important? Why do we have to build an altar of prayer? Three reasons very quickly. Number one, prayer is God's authorized system of communion and fellowship with him. Write it down. Prayer is God's authorized system of communion and fellowship with him. The Bible is very clear that the communion of the spirit, the fellowship of the spirit, what we call koinonia, must be at work in the life of anyone to do business with God and that system of koinonia is through prayer prayer is one of God's authorized system not the only authorized system but one of the major authorized system for communion and fellowship Luke chapter 6 let's take a few scriptures very quickly Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 please give it to us Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 then we'll look at Matthew 26 verse 36 and down to 39 it's actually to 44 but we'll stop at 39 quickly Luke chapter 6 verse 12 look up everyone please it says and it came to pass those days speaking about Jesus now that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God communion Jesus was not just praying prayer requests like we do during miracle service remember he was God he still is God but he went to spend time all night communing communing give us Matthew Matthew 26 and verse 36 Matthew 26 verse 36 then come at Jesus with them listen this was uh, his passion was about to start then come at Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane and said unto the disciples sit here while I go and pray yonder and let's watch what the Bible calls prayer and he took from him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy 38 then he said unto them my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death tarry here and watch with me please continue quickly and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying saying this sounds like a communication a conversation my father if it be possible let this call pass of me when you read down to verse 44 he prayed the same thing three times prayer is God's authorized system of communion not just a platform for petitions prayer is how power is transferred to men it's an authorized system of communion is your spiritual system of intimacy and intercourse in the place of prayer that's where the exchange happens between divinity Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit but never manifested the power of the Holy Ghost after prayer the Bible says he returned not full of the Spirit but in the power of the Spirit in Luke 17 don't turn there John 17 sorry Jesus himself began to communicate with the father as usual and he says father the hour has come watch communion to prayer the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son will bring glory to you and then he began to converse look at all the platforms till today listen till today how Jesus advocates for believers in heaven is still through prayer 
the bible says he's seated at the right hand of the father and he makes intercession for the saints why will you intercede when you are already seated by the right hand it's a system it's not about proximity it's a system of communion and communication if you are not a man of prayer you are not a woman of prayer you can be sure that the reality of communion and fellowship with the holy ghost that reality you see let me tell you something if you are not open to prayer you will never understand what we are saying you would think it's just um i'm not just talking of corporate prayer corporate prayer is great but you must have the secret place that's where he comes to meet with you that's when he tells you things he cannot tell any other person the reason why you don't hear god is because you are not used to his voice in the secret place he has not trained you to hear him so you hear everything and you call it him i was counseling a couple some i think i don't know if it was last week and um the mother was outside and the father came in with the daughters maybe they are even here listening to me and they held a little baby as soon as the baby shouted from outside the mother identified the voice and came to check what was happening with the baby and i said koinonia that's intimacy because there is a union that baby is sucking from the same mother their interaction the mother did not train herself to hear the voice she was implicated by that koinonia so anywhere she, there were many people families with their children but when she had her own he said my sheep hear my voice my sheep hear my voice meaning if you cannot ask hear his voice find out whether you are his sheep or not don't assume you are his sheep assumption is costly in the school of intimacy you must verify that there is contact between you and god there are pastors that don't pray so they get angry they think the manifestation of the power of god is magic there are dimensions impartation will not give you you must dig your well by yourself you must create an altar a system you must gain mastery in the realm of the spirit you must be used to the spiritual communication that has been act is is like a tailor-made system of god reaching you god must know how to reach you on serious informations god must know how to reach you on trivial informations he must train your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit that place of training is the secret place i will never trade anything for my time with him that's where men are built that's where there is an exchange see let me tell you holding a mic and teaching is not difficult holding a mic and preaching is not difficult but communicating life that one is a derivative of your altar that's why we sleep in church that's why our churches are full of dry bones from the preacher to those listening all dry bones people stand and talk they say something that should bless you and you wonder why it doesn't bless you because there's no altar they are standing unassisted by the realm of the spirit number two quickly why do we need the altar of prayer prayer creates a legal platform for god prayer creates a legal platform for god angels and the spirit realm to gain entrance and access prayer creates a legal platform mark the word legal it has to be legal the realm of the spirit is a legal realm the dealings of god with men are on legal grounds that's why god could not just pronounce men justified the system had to be followed to the latter prayer creates a legal platform for god angels and the spirit realm to gain entrance or access and intervene in the affairs of men and offer assistance to men whichever you want to write a platform for entrance legally 
I know that many of you are surprised. Why should God Almighty need the cooperation of a man to step into the realm? He limited himself in the creation of man. Let me show you two scriptures that I think will bless you. Psalms 115 verse 16. It's a popular scripture in the body of Christ. Psalms 115 and verse 16. Then give us Ezekiel 22 from verse 30 to 31. Psalms 115 verse 116. Can we read it together? One to read. The heaven, even the heavens, other versions say the heaven of heavens are the Lord's. Read on. But the earth as a territory has he given to where? Watch this. Let me give you a little explanation. If, if a Jimmy has a house, are we together? And he decides to rent that house to me. Now, it is true that it is still his house. But does he have a right to just enter anytime again? No. Even if he comes to that house, although it is your house, but there is a legal transaction that happened between me and you. So even as the landlord, you will still knock. And I have a right to tell you you are disturbing my privacy and you will still go. So God is still the Lord of all creation. But he carved out a domain of his kingdom, apportioned it to man. And it became scripturally incorrect for God to come to the earth without a man permitting him. That's why the Holy Spirit had to move Michael, Gabriel, to come and ask for permission from Mary before Jesus entered her womb. Mary could not just see her womb. No, 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 no. It was a discussion. This is what we want to do. Can your womb be available? The, what was the permission? Be it unto me. I authorize you. How shall these things be? Don't worry about the dynamics. Your womb will just, don't be surprised when you find out your stomach is just protruding. Be it unto me. And he had to go to Joseph and say, Joseph, you are about to see something strange in your wife. Now, I know that is going to shock you, but please, please, please don't drive her. There is a mystery she's carrying and Joseph, calm down. Look at how God had to go to the relevant people to ask for permission. Permission. One by one. While he was doing that, he was breathing upon Anna the prophetess to keep praying. Breathing on Simeon in the temple to keep praying. John the Baptist who will baptize and ordain Jesus. His father wanted to play with redemption. He thought he was just playing with a sacrifice. An angel appears to him and says, Mr. Man, your wife is going to have a child. The name is John and he, met, he spoke one kind of nonsense and heaven said, no, 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 no. This guy would disallow or shut his mouth. He's a priest, meaning there is a grace for him to operate in that priestly office. Shut his mouth so that he will not say anything because words are padlocks and are keys. It can disallow and allow reality. So he said, shut his mouth. This, this guy wants to spoil this thing we are doing. And they shut his mouth, not as wickedness, as a strategy to make sure John arrives so that Jesus will be commissioned. When John was born, they said, what shall we name him? The wife said, John. They said, no, we've not had this name. Then they went to the dumb father now. Mr. Man, what was the last thing when you spoke with the angel? What did you hear? And he wrote on the book, John. Is that a prayer? And his mouth opened. God said, now you can say anything you want to say. You have authorized heaven. Now, watch this. Look how hard it is for God to find expression in the earth. He must go around. That's why I taught you about the gift of men. God cannot be the author of death. Knowing how hard it is to find a man and find expression through him. For 430 years, God was busy preparing the man who will be a deliverer. Not if he promised Abraham captivity for 400 years. But even God became limited for 30 extra years until Moses was trained. Are you blessed? John the Baptist found himself in the wilderness. The requirement to ordain Jesus. He ate locusts and wild honey. Had sheep, camel, you know, clothes and all of that. And he came out and started baptizing. Baptized Jesus Christ. 
and that was all and Jesus began his ministry listen every time it looks like darkness is prevailing over your life it is not that God is limited it is because you have not understood that until heaven is authorized God can do nothing about it the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord the earth has he given to the sons of men Elijah knew this that everything under the heavens was within the jurisdiction of men and he didn't go to beg God he went and said I lock up because this cloud that brings rain is under the heavens so I lock it up and I put the key in my pocket listen to what he said there would not be rain except at my word but the Bible James Apostle James had a revelation of what he did he said don't think he just spoke grammar he went and locked himself and prayed earnestly he was a man of like passion but he allowed God Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 and 31 please quickly many of us have not been assisted by the spirit realm simply because we do not know that we have a role we have a role to creating the portal that grants us access to assistance and i search for a man among them listen who is talking here god to his prophet why will god be looking for men with over how many people at, at that time in the earth and it's still applicable to us today i sought for a man among them that should make up what a hedge a gap they have violated something they invoked a mystery that will force me now to punish them but in my kindness i'm searching for a man who can make me change my mind but i'm not finding any therefore don't blame me when your family remains poor it's not that i want satan to prevail there is something that happened in your family that lifted an altar of poverty and god keeps watching it ravage you for decades and god is saying i'm searching for a man who will rise up as an altar and cause me to act otherwise i was until i learned this i was surprised how god would just allow evil to happen like that and many people say ah, ah, but god can't you arise he said when you pray ask me that my kingdom should come what, what kind of thing is that ask me authorize me Matthew 6 he was teaching them the Beatitudes when you pray part of the content of your authorization should be that the kingdom come he said as I hear you say before my ears so will I do please leave it there I sought for a man among them that should make up the head and stand in the gap before me for what not just for an individual for the land that I should not destroy it but I found none so let's see what would happen in 31 Pharaoh shall see them and shall be comforted over all his multitude even Pharaoh and his army slain by the sword said the Lord Ezekiel 22 you are giving us a wrong scripture here that's what I gave you right Ezekiel 22 30 31 please correct it and let's have it quickly media are we there please help help whoever is working we need some level of accuracy The scripture I'm looking for the scripture that therefore have I poured out that is what we just read therefore have I poured out my word indignation upon them I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have I recompense upon their heads in other words it looks like I'm the one punishing them but they cost it they cost it that means the darkness in your family regardless of what people are saying oh god my name is john 
we are still dying and god is saying don't look at me as a wicked person i while i'm i'm pathetic there is a legal system operating this operation and somebody must arise and become a alt an altar that activates something different and then you will now see my kindness listen god is not the one ruling this earth with the nonsense that is happening there are manipulations that are sending strange incense and we are receiving assistances from strange spirits that are antichrist and they are helping to destroy the world but he must find a people that's why men are a serious business to god many of us act unassisted many pastors act unassisted the realm of the spirit is available to assist but until we call until we call pray in tongues for one minute and say lord i call you i call you into my life and into my situation i don't assume you are aware i authorize you Lord, if you don't step in, something will go wrong in my life. My family is in trouble. For 30 years, nobody has risen in my lineage. Something is wrong. Every year, someone is dying. Yet there are prophetic words over my family. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabras Katako Sibaria Sakatoba Shiva. Ten graduates, no one is employed. Ten ladies, no one married. All the men in the family are fed by all the women. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabakoto Sobakai. Everyone in my family fails when a miracle is about to come, another mystery kicks in. Everyone in my family must have a child out of wedlock. It happened to my grandmother. It happened to my mother. Now the devil wants it to happen to me. Shakato soto pes kalabaratosia. Embre toka dosi dekele kasosia. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Listen, let me tell you. I studied my life, I studied my lineage, I studied my family. And I saw things that I knew were not funny. I knew that those things were activations. And if I were to answer the call of God upon my life and prevail, something must happen. An altar gives life to a covenant. I saw things happening around my life, happening around my family. Let me tell you what most of us do. We identify what is wrong. Then we hope that a man of God will solve it for us. Yes, when you need a higher anointing, that's a different thing. But many of us just complain. Nothing is working in my life. My father graduate, my mother graduate, 10 of us in our family graduate. Nothing is working. It will continue like that because there is something making God look like a wicked person. I sought for a man in your family. It's not that he cannot convert everybody to become a Christian. I sought for a man who will raise an altar of righteousness that will allow me to do wonders. Wanting to deliver the nation of Israel from Egypt. Imagine how the heart of God bled when he saw the soldiers of Pharaoh weeping God's covenant people. Man, who is the man that I will send? In Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel stood before the dry bones. I thought God would say, Bones, 
come back to life he said ezekiel you know this law of territory i can't speak and it will just happen so i will tell you i will speak from heaven to you then you speak now in the earth i prophesied as i was commanded when god spoke the bone did not move when he prophesied as he commanded all of a sudden there was a sound oh god spoke to me in a vision as i had that dream and god said it's over and you get up and just smile you are joking it will never be over it was over in the realm of the spirit what you do with that encounter is to stand up put that word and say i legislate i agree with you lord my prayer and my dancing and my rejoicing is my agreement that's why we have many dreams that never come to pass you see 10 over 10 in the realm of the spirit you see zero in the physical you see a job in the realm of the spirit you see demotion in the physical god told you his intention in the realm of the spirit your carelessness aborted it in the physical take seriously what i'm saying the same way you see that somebody is about to be sick or to be destroyed in your family and you get up and just keep quiet and then the day something devastating happens you say hey i saw this thing that's a pain in the heart of god because he he kept moving around your whole house by his spirit searching for who was alert enough to communicate to him that this is a plot from darkness when god did anything in the nation of israel and did not tell the prophets they were angry read your bible they say god hid this thing from me number three what is the third purpose of the altar of prayer the altar of prayer is god's authorized system for enforcing dominion god's authorized system for enforcing dominion and compliance god gave man dominion over creation it will take man exercising it and prayer is the authorized platform for enforcing dominion the bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet so although god has said you will rise up as an international man of god but you will watch your life crumble to nonsense because before your arrival another altar had been raised and so it will take you enforcing dominion i may come from this family but i officially divorce myself from every nonsense that happened no the same way someone is born of a millionaire and all of a sudden the child starts enjoying the benefits even before being aware that is the implication are we together now a woman may be for instance um having a particular biological disease maybe a hepatitis or something and give birth to an innocent child and they say that child also has hepatitis did the child ask for it no genetic conditioning is the same way what stopped your father stopped your mother you laughed at them and quarreled them he's still waiting for you because until it is destroyed listen let me tell you something about altars for as long as an altar is said it's alive the covenant will keep working that's the concept of priesthood priesthood is a system to keep altars alive so that covenants will remain in force so that certain dimensions will continue to operate There are many things that will not obey you until you force them to there are many things in your life your destiny will not open up just because you think you should have a good life that's a joke it's a costly joke you will not get a job just because you got first class you will not be promoted just because you think you are due nothing is fair in this life 
everything that happens to you is what you force to happen through knowledge apostle life is so unfair to us in the family i sympathize with you but this is the wickedness in the world that we live in listen if you want to take your portion in this life you are going to take it by enforcing compliance your church will not grow just because you think you're a nice pastor being nice is not the seed for results the ability to exercise dominion are we together yes it takes prayer there are many people who don't pray they just get up and please come you just see someone and and he say pastor pray for me and your ego is on the line and you know that you have not sustained power with god no altar of prayer and you just believe you just lay your hand and you lay your hands in the name of jesus the bible says yes it said yes the bible said but it takes your life to activate that reality the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick god said it i believe it it settles it you are a joker you are a big joker no it doesn't settle it no it doesn't settle it there is a dynamic to manifestation let's not mock ourselves and you try to pray for this person and all of a sudden number one he's not healed number two it backfires on you are we together now all of a sudden you find out that the same thing you try to pray for him for the tragedies and calamities in his life you brought yourself through ignorance and the whole thing backfired on you we are walking in an environment that is surrounded with altars they give you a job and you enter the company you are not the ceo you are walking there you don't know what spiritual backings have been invoked over that environment until you create your own climate you will be a victim of the default climate there are people who fraternize with the devil i will employ people to work for me but they will never rise above me so if the man goes down everybody will go down to still keep him above them because it's a covenant now you got a job fresh from the university your blood is hot everybody dances around church you carry your certificate and all of a sudden you are earning three hundred thousand but you cannot bring out ten thousand you are not a drunkard you don't pursue women you don't know what happened an altar swallows up that thing that's what i'm telling you what has happened to many of our parents so we think the solution is promotion oh god promote me then your salary is now four hundred thousand. the effect is still the same but a woman who went to a man of god and is joining a little prayer group in her ignorance is flying akara somewhere in the junction and with that akara she trains seven children in school it's not akara she was assisted by the realm of the spirit no, sir you don't train children with with frying a karate you can come and meet that woman and beg her for a loan of hundred thousand and she will laugh she will say i'm coming she will enter the room and bring it out yet you claim that you are doing a white collar job and the altar fights you listen please pay attention to what i'm telling you whenever you prevail in the realm of the spirit an altar prevailed believe what I'm telling you Zaria has an altar the effects of the altar in Zaria is predictable you see it in the civilization of the people you see it in what happens to people the marginalizations that people never rise to certain dimensions you came to Zaria and just thought it's all about going to church no you create your climate you create your climate that's why it says yeah though i walk though i walk through a valley that has the shadow of death i fear no evil because i carry another climate thy rod and thy staff they comfort me so you are in a place where people cannot live up to 40 years you know you are aware in your village you've seen people dying like chickens but you come with another order you understand that the altar of prayer is also an altar that can contend with everything and you are enjoying long life 
you are enjoying grace the person who married earliest in your family was 45 are we together and you look and you say no you get married then you must spend five or ten years to have your first child if you sit down and keep watching it and don't cry for assistance and don't force compliance it will never work I watch people and my heart bleeds at their perception of God which is based on their consistent sufferings they conclude that God is not a merciful God but he said I sought for a man that through the altar of prayer you can nullify certain activities legal ordinances that have been erected to speak you will be dreaming to believe there's nothing speaking against you now no sir you have lived too long to have created one by mistake you have lived too long on earth if you are up to one years old welcome to the reality of this life there has to be something speaking the bible says the sin of disobedience is like what witchcraft witchcraft what is the operation of witchcraft so we all want to rise it's a year of triumph and there is you think that the whole thing is your grandfather or grandmother and the day you hear that they are dead you rejoice the priesthood died but the altar is still alive you see that and the altar is fine and good doing well that's why you find out the solution is not just to kill people around the solution is through spiritual intelligence to lift up a spiritual fortification that vetoes everything brothers and sisters you will leave heaven on earth all of a sudden they will watch you ah, ah. you've been in Zamfara for three years but you are returning as if you're in the UK you can fly to UK with that altar it will wait for you at Heathrow Airport as soon as you are landing you enter and all the doors close people who never knew you are still manipulated by that altar to work against you and you thought it's just something in Nigeria and at the end of it you come back after five years looking like a thief where have you been UK are you sure yes why are you like this you know the way life is people smuggle their way and pass through rivers and deserts all to go to Germany and UK whereas they think that's the greener pasture the greener pasture is the altar you raise that speak that speak that speak until Jesus came there was a universal altar speaking against man vengeance vengeance but when Jesus came he established another altar that spoke better promises better things I cannot live walking and living my life to chance and hoping that things will be all right I know things will not be all right if they will be all right you must create it you must create it so I enforce compliance will the devil leave you because he thinks God anointed you no no Satan is not that cheap you are going to contend that's why he said put on the whole armor put on the whole armor there is a devil somewhere that will destroy your life destroy your ministry destroy your business destroy your destiny you get married to a very lovely wife you loved her with all your heart they ask both of you will you love yourself you say yes the moment you married everybody brought their altars in holy matrimony now you are nice people this altar was designed to scatter the finances of whoever is standing with you and all of a sudden a good woman but you find out that your entire life starts going down and if you meet a a prophet who is not sound in scripture he will tell you your wife is the reason for your failure based on prophetic insight he has seen that there is an altar associated with her it's not a lie that is responsible for that downfall the individual may be the nicest person in the world but the altar will not change please hear what i'm teaching you and there are men 
no matter what happens if they marry maximum three years the wife must die and all of a sudden from the day the dear lady got married he may be a pastor apostle prophet how many men of god have altars fighting them they look around and they claim nothing is happening and they assume that because they took on the call for ministry god is too generous to allow them it's a joke no sir and this man gets married to this dear lady and all of a sudden she starts sleeping mysterious sicknesses she never had heart palpitations she will feel being pressed and she says my husband i don't know what is wrong i'm at, since we got married i say are you trying to say i'm a witch look at what the altars are causing then two of them go for counseling and they meet a man of god who is sincere but no spiritual intelligence and he says look it's how marriages are just take it easy pray together and it doesn't mean what he's saying and they say okay they say hug your wife in front of me they now hug themselves hold my hand darling they go back home the altar say welcome back by evening that man has slapped her again remember he promised in the presence of the pastor not to do it again but the altars brothers and sisters that's why god puts meetings like this because you can be sitting down now not knowing the deliverance that is happening you just feel something left me i don't know what happened and you go back and you who would have you would have blown somebody out of anger you find out that that force that comes upon you when you are angry that can make you insult anybody is no longer there because there is an altar this ministry you see is an altar we don't have an altar this is it's, a, it's an altar that's why you can talk against it in your secret place and start going down nobody is aware because the altar speaks all of a sudden a man of God will teach them how to raise altars and they will raise an altar of prayer and come and say look we are not bad people the devil is confusing us here you are a good woman I'm a good person we did not negotiate where to come from and all of a sudden day one Shekato Praskataya now watch what is happening they are holding their hands and praying after that day they just feel good but nothing really happens I told you consistency is how spirits are attracted they too the, the man doesn't want to pray but she says honey remember we're on a project here you know what we, are we have left at home let's do this thing after one week two weeks somebody starts having a dream somewhere after one week a spirit must appear to somebody somewhere and try to warn somebody an effect is being created in the realm of the spirit it's not a sign of witness you can't sit upon hot fire and act as if it's not it can't be for too long listen to me that's what is happening to some of you now it was after your seven days of prayer you had a strange dream you have never had you thought it's a sign that you are losing it's a sign of victory something is happening in the realm of the spirit all of a sudden you went to sleep and you saw a vision of your mother when she was young your father when he was young the spirit of god is trying to show you something follow him but that's when the spirit of slumber comes god keeps saying for one month wake up by two o'clock there's something i'm doing in your life after two weeks you don't wake up again you see how we cheat ourselves and you don't know that you are on the path of deliverance you reign you reign hello king you reign you reign you reign hello him you reign you reign you reign hello him I promise you if you listen to what I'm teaching you tonight many of you as soon as you go back you will see the dream you will have this night the devil hates what you are hearing because this is the age-long mystery that has kept people in your family educated but it's like they are not educated a pastor you are blessing people but you never rise yourself do you know why because your victory is tied to your altar not just your service your altar 
I created an altar that is independent of koinonia and I said no devil will come and destroy me no no watch this please come again the two weeks we are praying Shabrakato Sotobash Lebre Koto Shabaya we are praying we are praying we are fasting something starts happening one day there will be a breaking point in the realm of the spirit if that prayer were two hours a day will come it will become a vigil not by not because you like it there will be you will break open a portal in the realm of the spirit and two hours prayer will become prayer till morning and your child will come and meet you and say daddy i saw a man in white and i saw the man doing something on your head spiritual activities are happening in the family all of a sudden you start seeing doors opening you love your wife like never before the devil told you the secret is to marry another one no sir you marry another one the altar is still the same there are pastors the altars that fight them and in first race of their ministry something happens people start living they have raised so many people but have not been raised by themselves there are altars i've seen it fight people I've seen it five people I know these altars fought me for years you go to sleep a strange woman appears to you and sleeps with you in the dream you get up and say sorry I don't know what is happening someone is about to marry you here comes a stranger again what is bringing the stranger have you ever asked you relocate to another house he still looks for you and comes Kabarota Sigata they are about to promote you in the office all of a sudden your physical document disappears physical document how many students seated here that's the mystery behind the results you are seeing the ugly results that you are seeing you love God and you are sincere but that's the mystery behind the demonic things you see on that board you are not that dull you write your exams and go back the altars continue writing things continue writing things I know what I'm saying listen to me you hear people coming here with four points they were not born that way they have tapped into a higher covenant you see them surprised by their own results they know it's not their efforts that's why people join certain ministries join certain men of God see people partner with certain anointings this is the mystery of partnership when you partner with an anointing you access the covenant the covenant not the promise the covenant there are parents today the moment you are 50 years arthritis you get up one morning father cannot walk mother cannot walk their entire pension is spent on it it's not sickness it's a programming an altar is accurate with digital precision regardless of your foreknowledge it will work it will work I have seen it destroy families I have seen it destroy ministries that's why certain ministries remain small no matter how anointed they are an anointed man with fire on his head but it will not cross certain boundaries once they reach 200 something must happen a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters is an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of God somewhere 
and all the man of God will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar there are altars you give birth to men they must die they must die something must kill them no matter how healthy they are they must die brothers and sisters i have seen this evil it exists tonight we are going to pray are we together when it's time i'm not going to give you a prayer point when it's time to pray we are going to pray tonight you are going to erect many of you as you pray tonight you will see what will begin to happen to you i want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep i can't be pretending that it's not there again these animals that come to me in my sleep no i started a business well why is it that i start good things something evil must come lift your voice and pray hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus shout it say in the name of Jesus tonight I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Shabra takata. Shabra toko sotobash. I tear it down. Altars of delay. Altars of barrenness. Altars of failure. Raka toko to bereketesh. Le berekoto sotobesh.
yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone while doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We're making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. 
altars associated with territories associated with territories I come against you by the God of heaven I come against you pray pray I come against you Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years, but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Self time in the name of Jesus every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries pray pray let your prayer be heartfelt. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. You are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. Everywhere my favor is. 
in the name of Jesus I command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is hallelujah I want you to pray listen I want you to pray and talk to God tell him Lord I'm part of this apostolic family the altar you have erected here must speak for me I want my life to show it from today lift your voice and pray pray with understanding and watch what happens to you pray with understanding pray with understanding Understanding, Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please I don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here that, no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare i command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i'll pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life 
no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you're just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened Restore that intimacy. Restore that sweet fellowship that I once had with you. Fellowship that nothing in this world could be compared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies I pray for you now I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three i command those altars now be broken be broken be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything i stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now 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 by fire I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category. But in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment, right now in the name of Jesus, that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them, please. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. 
there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege shakas kopayaka mantele kos kata pris kalato shikre ataka i'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names i decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness i cause it by the god of heaven i cause it by the god of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. Satos Bratos Susi Pariatash. There's one of them you should have married, but this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 hallelujah our time is gone the Lord is asking me to minister to someone here somebody comes to you in the night physically I'm not talking of vision physically you feel somebody lying down around your bed sometimes sleeping with you you are feeling it this is not guesswork this is something you know is happening wherever that person is right now in Jesus name I stretch my hands there is no escape in the name of Jesus whether inside or outside you are in this category now I command judgment judgment on any strange spirit judgment on any stranger judgment on any stranger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people Yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people you know how God acts as I'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory I place the word of God now in the name of Jesus let that sword of deliverance I command that double-edged sword 
to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance i command it now inside and outside in the name of jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. Anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you, something about you becomes an irritation. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. Ah, I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I say it again, I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. Anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth, they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and i decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now. We authorize angelic assistance right now. Hear me? It was an angel that came to assist Mary to get pregnant. He showed up and said, I was sent. Your own is to just agree. And she said, be it unto me. And she got pregnant. I declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus let me pray finally for your finances i believe in god's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working i want to speak because some of you are titus some of you as sowers some of you bless honor god's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job I'm talking of a system in the spirit where God will lift you in a way that will make you afraid. I decree and declare now. As I'm praying for you, I'm also praying for families. Because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency. I pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here. Sitting on the financial destiny of any family. I clear it out of the way right now. I clear it out of the way right now. I clear it out of the way right now. 
I clear it out of the way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. I've shared with you my encounter. I've seen that spirit that they call Mammon. I've seen it. I've shared it here. Some years ago when I was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden I saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a poor there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny helpers in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus the bible says to pray with thanksgiving tell him thank you thank you this is part of a fruitful prayer you don't round up a prayer with amen you round up with prayer with genuine thanksgiving lord i thank you i know it is done i receive it because you are faithful this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us it's our confidence hallelujah now keep your hands please look at me i want to encourage everyone as much as god grants you grace i want you to use this week make sure that no day passes without you creating time to blast in tongues at least an hour at least an hour no if you think you don't have the strength find somebody who god has graced at least an hour tuesdays you are sure you can come and our prayer department is there praying you don't have to be a part of the, the a member of the prayer department join them because it's a season where we are breaking things through breaking things through in the realm of the spirit every day take out time i would recommend night times for you because most people are working or are students you may not have the luxury of time to get up in the morning or afternoon but you can maximize night times one hour out of 24 at least will not kill you i want you to cultivate that atmosphere carry that consciousness that the, my prayer is creating an altar and that I am an altar myself and refuse to allow the devil play games with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ now keep standing everyone I want to make an altar call now very quickly there are people here probably you came here for the first time tonight please let me have attention inside and outside and there are people here who the devil has been playing around with your destiny for many years and when you came for this meeting tonight as the word of God was coming the Lord was speaking to you that we need to start afresh again there are such people here right now I want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to Jesus or others who you were once a serious believer but something happened around your life very quickly we have just two minutes for this wherever you are inside or outside there must be somebody handing his life to jesus make your way right now i want to pray for you let's appreciate them as they come don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person somebody is coming clap for them inside outside if you're outside make your way in quickly god bless you god bless you young and old keep coming if you're outside please rush and come in rush and come in clear the way for them those coming from outside hurry up Please hurry up quickly 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 it's not something that should take forever for you to think about you should know immediately young and old make your way to Jesus the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run it to it and they are saved keep coming keep coming koinonia celebrate them 
Let's encourage them as they come. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate you for the boldness to come and make a declaration to Jesus. Listen, this is not just a poem you are reciting. I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart because it will start a new dimension of living for you. Lift your right hand high to the heavens. Let the devil see it and say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe in you. I ask you to forgive my sins. I ask you to cleanse me with your precious blood. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from tonight, I am a child of God. I keep rising and I never go back again. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of the flesh is broken over my life forever in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I stretch my hands to these dear ones and I pray, oh God, that you seal this decision with the presence of your spirit. Let tonight be an encounter that will remain forever in their lives. I declare their sins forgiven and oh God, I decree and declare that from today, they begin a fresh and a new walk with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen a big congratulations to you now I want you to quickly follow a lady waving her hands all of you together in concert just walk this way follow the lady waving her hands and um, they'll take you outside and attend to you very very briefly very quickly please everyone quickly quickly make way for them I would want you to do something for us if you want you here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching